Good morning, Cancer. How are you, my love? It's good to see you. Welcome to your generalized reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I've been called specifically, before I even start channeling, to put rose oil on my hands, okay? Uh, no other sign I've been requested to do this on. I then heard the word anointed. So I don't know what you are personally going through, but this reading is going to be intense. I already feel it. I almost feel like spirit is telling me to put this on to protect myself from, from potential energies coming in. So I'm not quite sure what that means, uh, but we're going to roll with it. So let me get this rose oil on here. Father God, Holy Spirit, ancestors and guardian angels, thank you for rising us up out of our beds this morning. And thank you for connecting us with you. Glory to the most high. For we are nothing without you. Amen. What channelings do you have for me to relay to cancer? Please use me as a conduit. I ask that you remove all bias from this reading. All right. My candle blew out about five minutes ago, so we're going to relight another one. Cancer gets a brand new candle. I'm hearing that. No coincidences. Why is Cancer getting a brand new candle, Spirit? <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? I just heard, ahoy, matey. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, that reminded me of pirates. So, uh, a lot of Johnny Depp stuff going on, Pirates of the Caribbean. But I feel like that was a much deeper message. So... What does that mean? Now I'm hearing pyrite. Pyrite. I'm seeing three pyramid, three pyramids, and I just heard Giza. He's at Egypt. Is that why three? I just heard we three. Ooh, we three. So for the record, Cancer. Um, some readers and psychics will scry. I don't know what it is about this angel, but I get whenever I channel. Just, I want people to know this. Whenever I channel, I look at the glitter in here and I literally see images in here sometimes. I don't know how to explain that. I'm now seeing three sets of angel wings and I'm seeing, um, wings. You've been really drawn to wings lately, or there's something about wings. You're thinking of getting a tattoo with wings, or you have a tattoo with wings. Uh, <clears throat> I just heard Red Wings. You may be a Detroit Red Wings fan. Uh, Red Wings, that just reminded me of Bloody Wings. Wings with blood on them. What is that? This shit's deep as fuck. I haven't even started throwing cards. God dang, man, spirit. You always do this to me with cancer. Fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, cancer. I love you guys. Y'all get some serious, deep, deep readings. You're freaking cancer. Cancerians rule the ocean for a reason. There's so much mystery. Crab, in and out. In, out, in, out. Crabs, in and out like the tide, okay? So I'm seeing this. There's like a... Uh, Tides are coming in and they're getting closer and closer, but closer than normal. There's something here. There may even be something in the moon. You might want to check into this. I feel like the tides of the ocean are higher than normal right now. I don't know why other than I, I keep seeing the eclipse. The eclipse may have done something literally to make the tides come in more than normal. I, but there's no coincidence that I'm picking that up because I feel like there's something more emotional for you than it's ever been before. Anything else, Spirit? I just saw this, a white pair of Air Force Ones. Anything else? I just heard sneakerhead. 
sneak her. Ooh. Sneak her. I don't know what that means. All right, let's go. We're five minutes in. I haven't even thrown cards yet. Cancer, all right, let's roll. What's coming in for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What's coming in for Cancer, please? My forehead's already scratching. All right, what's coming in for Cancer, please? And thank you. <laughs> Woo! Yes, baby. Coming in for cancer, please. Thank you. Oh God. Oh God. Truth. You have. There are two things here. Number one, cancer. You are in very, very good energy right now. Uh, stability. Everyone is watching you. People are attracted to you. You have a glow to you right now. There also may be someone who is an empress to you that may be coming in that you're building a foundation with. This person is very honest, truthful, and integrity filled. You are as well. Okay. That's why you, you are able to collaborate this way. There's also three, three here on the table. I've always said it. The number 33 is a very large number, whether you're 33 years old, uh, or if you may or may not have known this, Christ was uh, crucified at 33 years old. That's a very, very holy number. Tell me more. It's coming in for cancer, please. It's coming in for cancer. If you are over 33, something may have happened when you were 33 that this may be tying back in with. Ooh, yep. Look at that. There's your energy. There's moon. Then we had the two of swords come out. Lovers in reverse. The hermit. All right, so I'm picking up a cancer. I'm, I'm, uh, ha, ha. I'm sorry, y'all. I gotta, I gotta say this. All right, this is between us and whoever else watches this video. But you've had a really rough ending with somebody in your love life. You're not talking about it. You don't want to talk about it. You don't even want to look in that direction. It's over. There is no communication happening on a intimate level for sure, if any, at this point. You've got serious boundaries with this person. You or this person may have Virgo in your chart or their chart. This person's in silent mode. Tell me more on that. This person just like is really going within. You're really going within over this situation. Working on your finances, your own abundance, your own stability, and you're looking good, Cancer. Okay, you're looking real good. It's heading in the right direction. Look at all that yellow, that positivity. It's coming in. Tell me more. It's coming in for Cancer, please. Thank you. Seven of Wands. Yeah. Being so brave. Taking charge. Handling your business. I love that that fell under the Three of, of Pentacles because that really goes to show... Any issues or conflict with people that you're collaborating with, you're still facing it head on. You're still standing strong. You're holding to your values. And that's what's building this foundation beautifully because you're not sacrificing anything, anyone, or yourself. Tell me more. What's coming in for cancer, please? You quite literally might build something for a living. You might uh, be a builder, an architect. You might... Um, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. Ace of Swords. <laughs> your luck's about to change come on with it what's coming in for cancer please and thank you why are you so anxious and anxiety filled you're losing sleep cancer's losing sleep cancer can't see the energy that's about to change it's coming in tell me more it's coming in for cancer cancer is very stressed out king of swords were here we are all right you may be working with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, uh, or someone is bringing a very direct conversation your way. You are also having very direct communication at this time. We're also in Gemini season officially, which you are going to definitely see a lot of communication in this next month, both on your poor and from others. There may be conversations that are taking place that have not happened yet that need to. Okay. Um, and I feel like spirits really wanting me to push you on that part because I feel like with you being as silent as you are, you're not just being silent to whoever this past lover is or whoever this ex is. You're being silent to a lot of people and it's not really doing you favors there in that sense. Um, tell me more about this King of Swords energy. What is this? Tell us more, please. Thank you. King of Cups. There you are. See? 
These two energies are coming big time in Gemini season for you, okay? I love this energy for you, Cancer, because... I'm connecting with Cancers that have been very quiet about any type of emotions. Very quiet. Uh, very surface level. Everything that you've that you've shown, I just said up to four years. Up to four years, is that correct? Three to four. Three to four. I'm hearing three to four. Up to the last three to four years, you have really not shared your emotions with anybody. Uh, this is... I feel like this has been some self-sabotaging energy, quite frankly, but I also feel like there's a reason you haven't. Notice how the King of Cups, he's just about to dip his foot in the water, but it's not there yet. Wants to, but eh. what uh, What does water represent again? Emotions. Cancerian represents the ocean. Emotions. Yet you don't talk about them. And you're Cancer. You're, you're the, the most... Um, the house of cancer, like, y'all are so all about family and and love and home and hearth. And so for you to not be in that energy, especially recently, it's really taken a toll on you. And I feel like whoever this other person is that you no longer are with or you're no longer speaking to, they had a lot to do with that. I just heard someone say that's on them. You're saying that's on them that you're like this? Okay. Do you know what? Hey, that's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. That's not a problem. So let's go deeper. Anything else? Do you want me anything else from this deck, Spirit? Five of Swords in the reverse on the bottom. Yeah, you're getting out of your head now. Woo! All right. Let's go, Cancer. Tell me more. It's coming in for Cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. It's coming in for Cancer. I just saw a Corvette. A red Corvette. Now I'm hearing little red Corvette. Valor red. Woo! A princess of cups. There's your energy again. Now we're getting emotion. Notice how it's not the queen or the king, though. Bit by bit. Bit by bit, Cancer. You're getting there. Look at you. But what you're pumping out is so good. This is also like the ace of wands, essentially. A lot of passion for self-care. Okay, swans mate for life, yet there's only one here. This is about self, love, nurturing. Look at the red for the passion and the blue for the calm, the serenity, the peace, water, fire and water. It's the perfect combination for what you're needing at this time. Number seven is on this card as well. We also have the sign of Leo down at the bottom. You see it? You may have Leo somewhere in your chart. Or you may be dealing with a Leo. Tell me more. It's coming in for cancer, please. Mm. There's been some struggle with your finances, but it looks like you're moving in the right direction. I also feel like someone that you're watching that has Earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, may be going through a very serious struggle right now at this time. I just heard the words, it pains me. Ooh. It pains you. Tell me more about that. What is that? Or it pains someone to watch you go through a struggle? Is this someone else or is this cancer? Both. getting a lot of things with this yeah quick change okay number one yeah princess 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 i'm getting three princesses princess of cups princess of dicks <laughs> discs and princess of swords three females All right, I'm going to call it like I see it here. I'm seeing about four or five different scenarios here, and I'm getting heavy channelings. I'm also hearing names, and I feel like I'm about to rat some people out. Whew, okay, are we doing it? What do you want me to do, Spirit? What do you want me to do? 
Am I ratting people out? What are we doing? Yep. Karma's a bitch. Okay, I'm hearing karma's a bitch. All right. Uh, I'm connecting with several people, several different timelines here. Uh, I'm connecting with somebody that truly may have borderline personality disorder. That's why I'm seeing three princesses here. It's like, a, or you think you have borderline personality disorder or somebody you know has that and you're seeing like three different versions of them. And it's, it's, they're going through a massive struggle. And uh, whatever they're going through struggle-wise, they're going to defeat it big time. That's, they're going to win. Okay, so there's that. That also may be you. Maybe you feel like you have multiple personalities. Each day you're a different person. Whatever it is, whatever those insecure feelings are, you're annihilating that. That is also going to be defeated. There's defeat over struggle here. Okay. I also, and here's where I'm writing someone out. Someone's talking to up to three women. And... Uh, If somebody has heavy earth in their chart, I feel like that person's coming out on top, okay? Or that's the one that you have feelings for. You may have three little girls. And you might be a single parent. You've been struggling to keep food on the table, keep gas in the car. I'm getting that as well. You may have two sisters. And the three of you have been fighting and you're about to make up. There may be two friends of yours, two girlfriends of yours that you've been arguing with. You're about to make up and uh, or you're about to solidify a relationship with one of them and the other one gets the boot. Something like that. If you're dealing with three women, I see two brunettes and one blonde. This is a big thing here. This is a big thing. I need more on this. What is this? Let's go deeper. Y'all know I'm pulling out. If I pull out the fountain tarot, you know we're about to get someone rounded out here real quick because this is one of my most honest decks I've got. Tell me what this is. What is this about? Can I get more clarification on this? Holy shit. Eight of Swords, you're in your head about it. That's for damn sure. Very in your head about it. I just heard use a hoe, use a hoe. I said that use a hoe. Ooh. Someone's, someone's sending a message that's going to clarify someone being sneaky. Someone's being sneaky behind the scenes. I'm seeing three women involved. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of uh, physical uh, physicality here. Knight of Wands is my player card. Uh, I, I don't always feel that energy off this card, but I am in this sense. So either someone's playing you or playing, if this is not a love relation, if this is not love related and this is like a friend or like a colleague situation or a family situation, somebody is lying and playing another one or someone's lying and playing all three people involved. There's something here about that. Tell me more. That song is playing again in my head and it's even louder this time. Use a hoe. Use a hoe. I said that use a hoe. What the fuck is that? Three of coin. Eight of cups. Look at this. Look at this. Eight, eight. Look at all of this. Seven, eight, eight, eight of swords, eight of cups, seven of swords. What 
is this? Did someone do something when they were drunk and they were sneaking around and now they're in their head about it? You may have also been giving up alcohol recently. That may be why. <laughs> I don't drink too much because when I do, I get fucked. <laughs> I've heard all these niggas and all these hoes and here's somebody here going, fuck. Oh my God, someone's getting ratted the fuck out. <clears throat> I'm sorry, y'all. I feel like this is something you already, you already figured it out. This has to do with your ex. Or whoever you just left. Or maybe this situation went down with your ex. Maybe you were seeing three different women and one got chosen and the other two didn't. You walked away, but there was sneakiness around it because you didn't want the one that got chosen to know about the other two. But the one that got chosen already knows. I don't know. There's something here about that. Let's clear this shit. There's strength. There's Leo energy on the bottom of the deck. You've been very strong in this situation. And it does feel like you're handling it according to the best of your ability. So spirits acknowledging that. Yeah. Emperor. You're doing good, Cancer. You're doing real good. But if you did... If there was something that you messed up with a relationship or other people or something here, like it's being cleared out. Tell me more. All right, let's go. Um, let me switch deck. What else is coming in here for cancer, please? Too many. It's coming in for cancer. I heard pump the brakes. Pump the pump. Pump the brakes. Why are you like this? I'm connecting with cancers that can hardly take judgment or criticism from others at this point in their life. You didn't always used to be like that. What is that? Who messed with your confidence, cancer? Two, 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 two on the clock, right when I held that up. Who messed with your confidence? That's not you. Tell me more. This person messed with your fucking confidence. I don't like this person. I'm going to be really direct with you, man. This, yeah. This is who you were for that person, their rock, their stone, their support system. And it's like, they fucking did this. They blew it. And you're standing firm on that decision too. Woo! There's that sexual energy coming through. Oh. This is deep. I've never gotten this energy before. <clears throat> My hands are starting to shake. I don't know if I can say this out loud. Trigger warning. I'm getting three things off of this. I'm connecting with a cancer that was molested as a child by someone they were supposed to trust. I'm also getting that you may have a small child. There's something about you being worried that they're going to feel orphaned in some fashion. There's that or that is your inner child coming out. And this sexual energy, this is Kundalini energy. This is uh, sacral chakra. Okay. And root chakra as well. So, I feel like there's an energy heightening taking place that's healing any type of this energy from your childhood. Maybe if your inner child felt abandoned or orphaned or didn't get enough attention or didn't feel heard. There's something about sexual energy coming into play and healing this. Or you may be having um, physical relations with someone who is helping you literally heal on a chemical and energetic uh, level that's helping heal the past. Especially, 
if you were molested in the past. There's something tying in with this. You've had a lot of issues uh, trusting people sexually because of what you went through. Uh, I feel like I'm connecting with someone who never went to therapy for this, and that is a very, very big deal. And um, I feel honored to be saying these words to you if you're taking them to heart because I know that you have not gone to therapy, and that's okay. Uh, if that is not you, if, if you were not molested as a child or a rape victim or anything like that, you never went to therapy for the inner child wounds. Every time someone offers you help to get over these humps, you're like, nope, I don't want it. And look what that is, a skull. That's death. That's like literally spiritual death to not accept help of people who genuinely can see things that you can't and you block it. This is balance, right? So the question is, what does cancer need to do go, to go from here to here? Because that's the transition you're making energetically right now, cancer, okay? It's huge. This is a huge life trajectory change for you. For good. For good. I'm hearing for good. Tell me more. <sighs> yeah. Destroying the past. There's no going back from this moment on, okay? That's why. This is what you've turned into, Cancer. You're special. You are so special. And if no one's told you that lately, well, damn it, I'll say it again. You are special. You are worthy. You are good enough. Okay? Let's get one final message from my Spirit Oracle deck. What would Spirit like me to relay to Cancer, please? Final message. Opportunity. Live in the moment. Let go of the past. There is no point worrying about the future. A wonderful opportunity exists for you today. Embrace it. Mm. Times they are changing. Love that song by Bob Dylan. Go check it out. Listen to that song. Get in those vibes, all right? Cancer, this is where I'm leaving it. Uh, as always, deep as shit. So thank you for making me work. Um, and I, I'm so honored to be a part of this journey with you and, and relay these messages. I truly hope it helped. I hope that you found something or could take at least one type of uh, golden nugget from this message. If it did resonate with you, please leave me a comment. And if you'd like to go further on a one-on-one -on -one basis, basis with me, get a lot more intimate and very much on your specific story. All the information is below for a private reading. And if this is where we part ways, my friend, I am sending you so much peace, love, light, and laughter. Okay? Laugh. I want you laughing and I want you smiling. Go watch comedy. All right? Take care, Cancer. All my love. Bye.